Jupiter, one of the most mysterious planets in our solar system. This gas giant is massive enough to alter our galaxy in strange and terrifying ways. It's also equipped with a massive red spot that has the most dangerous storm in our solar system. Jupiter is one of our favorites here at What If, and we love manipulating it in tons of strange ways. And today, we're going to do just that. We'll go through different scenarios where we alter, swap, and move Jupiter. Maybe we'll even take some features of the planet and bring them down to Earth. How could this destroy our solar system? And how does this gas giant protect Earth? Well, let's start with our first scenario. One that brings us into a world where Mars and Jupiter switch places. I don't know what that is. is it, what is it? The delicate balance of the entire solar system exists in a gravitational dance between planets. Swap the orbits of two of them and you could end up wreaking all kinds of havoc. What would happen to a rocky red planet stuck between two gas giants? How would Earth react to a gigantic new neighbor? And why would a big shift in gravity trigger an asteroid apocalypse? This is What If? And here's what would happen if Jupiter and Mars switched orbits. The Sun and Jupiter are the two largest objects in our solar system. The gravitational forces of these behemoths influence each other's movements. And they have a big impact on the movement of all the other planets, moons, and asteroids in our cosmic neighborhood. On the inner side of this belt is the fourth planet from the Sun, and our neighbor, Mars. The red planet is located a mere 78 million kilometers from Earth. That means it's eight times closer to us than Jupiter is. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun, located at a distance of about 778 million kilometers away. And it's the gas giant's tremendous force of gravity that could be responsible for the asteroid belt separating the inner and outer regions of the solar system. So, if these two planets suddenly swapped orbits, would the millions of rocky objects in the asteroid belt come flying right at us? Let's start by checking out how Mars would fare in this orbital switcheroo. It would now be jammed between the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. This would put the red planet in the uncomfortable position of having the two biggest planets in the solar system on either side of it. It would be uncomfortable because of those gas giants' gravitational pull. But the pull would be uneven, and Mars would suffer a similar fate to that of one of Jupiter's moons. Io. Like Io, Mars would experience a stronger attraction on the side facing Jupiter compared to the side facing away. This would stretch and compress the rocky planet. Mars would start to heat up from the inside. That's the reason Io is plagued by more active volcanic eruptions than anywhere else in the solar system. Place Mars in a similar game of tug-of-war and the gravitational forces could be strong enough to reactivate a few of its own ancient volcanoes. Yeah, you could end up seeing lava erupting out of Olympus Mons, the biggest volcano in the solar system. Okay, now hopping back over to our side of the asteroid belt, things would be getting interesting here on Earth. The first big change you'd notice would be the night sky being a little different. Yeah, Jupiter would go from appearing as a distant bright star to being about 20% as large as the moon. Looking up on a clear night, you could see its colorful bands and spots. But not everything would be swirly and pretty. In its new real estate, right next door, 
Jupiter's gravitational impact on Earth would be about 64 times stronger than it is now. You know, Jupiter already impacts us from a distance. Every 405,000 years, its pull, along with Venus's, is responsible for droughts and intense rain. With it being this close, the effect would be more extreme and the consequences deadly. Caught between the Sun and Jupiter, our planet would experience cataclysmic problems with tidal bulging. So what you once knew as a lovely, habitable home would transition into a volcanic hell. And that wouldn't be the only hell unleashed. With Jupiter suddenly on the opposite side of the asteroid belt, all those millions of rocks would be pulled in new directions toward it. And that would set more than a few on a crash course with Earth. The objects in the asteroid belt range in size. On the massive size, there's the dwarf planet Ceres. It's about 25% the size of our moon. And of the asteroids, Vesta is an unwieldy 530 kilometers across. But an asteroid wouldn't even need to be anywhere near that large to hit Earth and trigger the apocalypse. A collision with one as small as one kilometer could be the end for us. If an asteroid about 10 kilometers across crashed into our planet, it would result in the sun being blocked out for a year or more. And without sunlight, we'd experience what's known as impact winter. Temperatures would drop and photosynthesis would stop. This would lead to the mass extinction of plant, animal, and human life. Thanks, Jupiter. Now let's see what else this crazy planet has up its sleeve. Remember that giant scary red spot on Jupiter? What would happen if we took that storm and unleashed it on Earth? Let's check it out. Jupiter is home to some big storms, like the massive Great Red Spot, which has been swirling on the gas giant for centuries. Why don't we bring it to Earth and see what happens? How long would this megastorm rage? How would it blow the socks off every other storm our planet has ever seen? And why would you want to be at the center of it all? This is what if, and here's what would happen if Jupiter's storm existed on Earth. The Great Red Spot is the largest storm in our solar system, and it's responsible for giving Jupiter its iconic Great Red Spot. Spanning 16,000 kilometers across, this storm is nearly one and a half times wider than Earth. And it reaches towering heights of 500 kilometers into Jupiter's atmosphere. Scientists have been able to observe this storm for 200 years now. Though it's likely that the storm is much, much older than that. More recently, the Great Red Spot appears to be changing shape and shrinking. But whether it's getting smaller or not, how would this great storm look on Earth? Would our entire planet from surface to space be blanketed in a storm that would rage on forever? The Great Red Spot isn't the only storm on Jupiter, but hauling over all the gas giants' storms would be a little too devastating for our planet. You'd see massive cyclones on both the North and South Poles if you did. And those big bad cyclones would be surrounded by several smaller cyclones. Though smaller wouldn't mean much compared to what you might be used to. They would have wind speeds that reach up to 350 kilometers per hour and be about one and a half times stronger than a Category 5 hurricane. The Great Red Spot on its own would be more than the Earth could really handle anyway. This storm is so tall that it would reach the International Space Station. 
That's more than 400 kilometers straight up. In total, this massive storm would cover about 40% of the Earth's surface. And given what we already know about its existence, it wouldn't appear to be going away anytime soon. Scientists observed that on Jupiter, the Great Red Spot usually hovers at the same latitude. That's because it's likely held in place by two cloud bands in the planet's mostly hydrogen and helium atmosphere. If this happened here on Earth, the unlucky countries that fall along this line of latitude would be plagued by this forever storm. Imagine the Great Red Spot perpetually orbiting around the equator. If you lived somewhere like Brazil, Uganda, or Indonesia, you'd have to be constantly on the move. You'd need to stay within the eye of the storm. Or else, at least in there, you'd be dealing with some relative calm compared to what's going on around it. On its outermost edges, the winds of the Great Red Spot would reach speeds between 430 to 680 kilometers per hour. Even at the low end of that, these winds would be twice as fast as the strongest hurricanes on Earth. But what a sight it would be to gaze at this storm from a distance. You'd see a tower of clouds reaching all the way up to space. Wherever it hovers, it would block out sunlight, potentially lowering temperatures around the globe. Not much within the storm's path would stand a chance of survival. This goes beyond trees and your home being swept away. Skyscrapers and high-rises are the last places you're going to want to be. It would release unprecedented amounts of rain, displace millions of people, and could result in a never-ending series of devastating mudslides and floods. It would be so powerful that several smaller but still devastating storms could form around its edges, creating even more chaos. But could the Great Red Spot really rage on forever and ever? Well, thankfully on Earth, it likely wouldn't. When large hurricanes form over warm ocean water, they pick up strength until they make landfall. At this point, they lose their primary fuel source, moisture. On a gaseous planet like Jupiter, the Great Red Spot doesn't stop because it doesn't have any continents to collide with to rain on its stormy parade. And while you may know this storm by its iconic red color, it wouldn't necessarily stay red on Earth since our atmosphere mostly consists of nitrogen, oxygen, and other trace elements. It could appear blue or whitish to you. Okay, so now let's kick this up a notch. Instead of just relocating the red spot to Earth, what would happen if Jupiter's entire atmosphere transferred over to our planet? Where could you be safe from these toxic winds? How would you breathe? And how would the Great Red Spot wreak havoc on Earth? This is What If, and here's what would happen if the Earth had Jupiter's atmosphere. The gas clouds churning around Jupiter contain some of the most toxic elements ever known. So what's in this gaseous cocktail? Well, try helium and hydrogen with a pinch of ammonia sulfur, and methane. For this experiment, we'll scale the size of Jupiter's atmosphere to fit Earth, but how could we transport it into our air? Well, we'd have to go directly to the source and siphon all those gases from Jupiter. We could send a spaceship equipped to vacuum them up and bring them back to Earth. Now, that round trip to the gas giant and back would take about 12 years. Hopefully that would be enough time to prepare our planet for this complete atmospheric makeover. But could it end all life on Earth? Adding Jupiter's atmosphere to Earth's would put a lot more hydrogen in our air, creating a dangerous mixture. High above, explosions would rock the skyline with force so powerful it would shake the ground. 
Oh, and did I mention we're increasing Earth's gravity a bit, too? Well, yeah. Otherwise, all those gases would escape into space through the farthest layer, the exosphere. This boundary between space and the atmosphere is razor thin. Enjoy this view of our mini Jupiter, because from here, it only gets worse. Go one layer down and you'd be in the thermosphere. Here, particles heated by the magnetosphere create the glowing aura that surrounds Jupiter. So Earth would have that now. Now, hopefully, the thermosphere would be hot enough to destroy meteors and other debris, because we'd have enough problems without falling rocks beating us. If you kept going down, you'd be floating in the stratosphere. This layer's winds would tear up the North and South Poles. Yeah, they'd clock in as fast as 400 meters per second. That's three times the speed of Earth's strongest tornadoes. But these winds would feel like a soft breeze compared to the next danger inside our atmosphere. Now you'd be in the troposphere, right above the Earth's surface. This layer extended to around 50 kilometers on Jupiter. But now on Earth, these corrosive clouds of ammonia, ammonium hydrosulfide, and water vapor could reach heights of up to 20 kilometers. And on Jupiter, the surface reaches below freezing conditions. If these dense clouds blocked out most of the Earth's sunlight, temperatures would drop dramatically. To survive, we'd have to build shelters to protect us from the colder climate and poisonous gases. Maybe we'd live underground near geothermal vents where heat escapes from the Earth's core. Because above the surface, the air would be so deadly that a gas mask wouldn't even save you. You'd need a spacesuit to withstand the gases on the ground. Without proper protection, this vortex of toxic fumes would eat away at your eyes, lungs, and skin. And without enough oxygen in our atmosphere, all the plants, animals, and humans would die. But our devastation would be a sight to behold. These ammonia clouds would create spectacular red and white bands as they swirled around our planet. The dark red bands are called belts, and their gases would sink to the ground, but the cold air in the white bands, called zones, would rise. And here's the pinnacle of those powerful gases. The storm called the Great Red Spot. We discovered this violent hurricane on Jupiter over 400 years ago, and now we've brought it to Earth. And although evidence shows that the storm is shrinking, it's still large enough to swallow Earth twice. Yeah, it wouldn't leave us anytime soon. If this never-ending storm existed on Earth, it would funnel these gases as fast as a Category 5 hurricane. It would stretch out over 640 kilometers, covering an area one and a half times the size of the Grand Canyon. Its massive clouds would stretch beyond the other layers of the atmosphere and into space. Yeah, this tempest would destroy cities around the equator. Anyone not living underground would live in constant danger. From Ecuador to Congo and all the way to Indonesia, over 700 million people would be displaced or wiped out. Earth's imported atmosphere would look great from above, but life on Earth might be all but extinct if we brought the great red spot here. Okay, so what if, instead of the atmosphere, we took Jupiter's magnetic field? Well, keep watching, because that's a story for another What If.